What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit staring here in beautiful Germany at the Nuremberg or Norschleiben track. As you can see, Norschleiben is that way. So we're here today, <laughs> if you can see that Volkswagen logo right there, we're here today to see if I cannot get sick with the twists, turns, elevation changes, bumps of the Norschleiben ring here on Assetto Corsa. If you see, we got a beautiful TCR Volkswagen GTI here to rip for today. And uh, very beautiful model, if you know, it's done a little uh, aesthetic changes. We got some evil rabbits on the roof, or on the hood on there. We got some uh, energy innovations on the uh, mirrors there, as well as on the side panel. And uh, a little bit of energy innovations inside there and on the seat itself. Did a little uh, paint changing on this car for my personal use, for my visual aesthetics. So we're going to be ripping it here at Norschleiben. And seeing if I don't get sick and try not to puke with the elevation changes and everything here in VR. Did get my settings a little bit better. Got the mod mic going. So hopefully the audio is much better. So as always, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which are in the description box below. Nuremberg Ring, Norschleiven is calling me. The GTI looks like it's all ready to go. So we're going to hop in it and uh, we're going to go full send here. So let's get in there. Try and figure out how to open the door and actually get into this car. Alright, so we are in the GTI right now. I did turn the driver off so I can kind of see through my body. But it's much better not to see the hands and stuff like that for me personally and for, well, FPS purposes. So everything's a lot crisper and clearer because I did find out that my settings were not perfectly correct for the Oculus. Like I said, NRG wheel right there. So we're going to go out. We do have the factory Fanatec wheel out because we are using the paddle shifters. And, well, we're going to put it in gear and... uh we're going to see what we can do here. We are in our little pit speed. So, Oculus Rift S, definitely been a lot of fun here on Assetto Corsa. And a lot of you guys have been asking for more uh, Oculus content. So, we're here to see if I can not puke on Norschleiben. So, let's do this. Let's go full send. Front wheel drive, Volkswagen, TCR. GTI 2018 and uh, yeah we're gonna go full fly mode Raz don't need clutch so we're gonna be doing a little uh, you know twin foot driving and the elevation here is not bad but once we get into the bumps and twists and turns of the inner part of the course ooh, that torque steer is where I will be testing my stomach for sure with the elevation changes and everything like that. Like right there. Feels a little weird. But we're definitely going to be using this Oculus as much as possible. Looking where we need to look for apexes to kind of help us. See if we can't get a good flying lap here. And uh, have a good run. Ooh, a little lock up of the brakes there. We good. So I do have a lot of fun driving different cars at North Live and Ring and with the Oculus it's a lot different so if you guys want to keep seeing some maybe flying laps of North Live and Ring with some cars on the Rift S let me know down in the comments Whew. so far so good probably one of my new favorite front wheel drive race cars this GTI if you guys know my first original broke way too much for that my first original dealership job for BMW was Volkswagen down in Florida and uh, I did own a 2007 Volkswagen Rabbit that was modded, cam and set up, lowered, you know, stance point. So Volkswagen is a big, big part of my, you know, career and it's a big, uh, big piece of my heart. So we're not doing too bad. I feel like commentating and talking is making the Oculus not as uh, terrifying right now. But of course, feedback is definitely, definitely more here on PC on the Fanatec than on Xbox for sure. I'm trying to remember all the twists and turns of Norschleiben. We locked up the brace a little bit. We're good on the curb, but front wheel drive car is definitely a little bit more forgiving than a rear wheel drive car. But when it comes to the torque steer, that's when it gets terrible. 
throttling out too much out of a turn, spinning the front tires, kind of just, you know, not going where you want it to go. Definitely takes a little bit of getting used to, and you can't just power out of a turn. If you need to rotate the car more, you kind of got to lift. And I know this car is definitely uh, lifting the back wheel of the car when I'm in hard turns. I've been doing some racing and stuff like that with these TCR cars, and uh, they lift up because of how stiff the suspension is and how sort of travel they got. So the back wheels usually tend to lift up. Go, where we need to go. So, whoa. so if you guys are enjoying this stuff here at North Lyman, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all the support. Curb hopping, be good though. And tap that bell notification for me if you guys want to be part of the notification gang and get the videos as soon as they come out. I would appreciate all the support and all the comments from everybody. I'm trying to change up pace here in the new year doing some more racing stuff, of course more drifting stuff, and you know, more and more Oculus Rift content, because I have it, I love it, I keep wanting to use it, and I'm becoming more and more comfortable in it, and now that I got my settings to make it look more crisp, it's, it's a lot better. Surprise, I'm not even feeling anything at all right now. We're at four minute drive here so far, at Norschleiben. Oh, that was a big hit. Oh, I do have damage on, so that could uh, definitely cause some suspension issues. I do a bit of a vibration now in the steering wheel. Not too, too much, but a little bit. Because, yeah, I do run full damage, as well as tire wear and fuel wear and everything like that. So, I know a lot of people have been asking about open lobbies. I'm going to be doing that soon. I can't talk right now. I'm trying to focus on driving. I'm going to be doing that very soon with uh, running my servers and stuff like that on drifting and stuff like that as well as uh well this weekend is the rolex 24 at daytona and uh definitely super excited because you guys remember oh, oh ow there we go that was a little little disorientating if you guys remember the 12 hour race that we did on forza motorsport 7 at sebring uh, my friends and I are thinking about doing another endurance race, but here in a set of Corsa. So, unsure if we're going to do a 24 hour race. We may just do another 12, but we may do a 12 at Daytona because it was a lot of fun. And being on a set of Corsa, it's going to be a lot more intense. So, if you guys would like to see a full live stream of another endurance race with my friends and I rotating in and out of the car here on set of Corsa, let me know. Chime in down in the comments. As well as if there's a specific car you would like to see ripped here at the Nuremberg ring. I was trying to look upwards, which I can actually do in Oculus, to try to see where I was going. If there's a car you'd like to see me rip here at Nuremberg to see what I can do with it, whether it be in Oculus or out of Oculus, let me know down in the comments. Let me know the car the, and where to get the mod if it is a mod may already have it so if you do comment a car I will ask if I don't have it where I can get it well, I'll just find it because I'd like to do more of these Ooh, fun drives here oh that's not good oh what happened I think we just got a little airborne and we kind of just lost control that that was a hard hit that's right in front of you, really SOS right in front of the SOS sign is where we wrecked. Man, I think we just got a little airborne and just the car did not like that. It got unsettled as soon as it hit and uh, we wrecked hard. And in VR, wrecking is very, uh, very disorientating when it starts spinning, especially if you start flipping. So unfortunately, we wrecked. And that's uh, not a good time at all. I kind of want to go back and take a look at that replay and see what actually happened. Because I'm very unsure of what happened. But of course, we will have to switch out of the Oculus. Because we all remember 
from my last NMLZ video. <sighs> Oculus replays are a little weird. So we will switch out of the Oculus to go take a look at exactly what happened once we finish our run here. I'm surprised the car still alive, so I didn't shatter the windshield or anything, because you know that's definitely a very hard hit. Car probably would have been done. So we finished the tourist lap at 752.77 with a wreck and kind of sitting there staring at the SOS sign. Look at the blink or the hot air balloon. So we're gonna pull ourselves into the paddock area and then we are gonna go take a look at the replay and see exactly what happened. Because I'd be I'm very curious on what happened. And uh, I think we're parked over this way. We're gonna go back and park our car up to finish off our run here for today. So let's go take a look at that replay and see exactly what happened. So I'm gonna catch you guys once I get out of the Oculus and back in normal replay. All right, so we are out of the Oculus and back onto our normal microphone. And we are taking a look at the replay. I was gonna take a look at some of the beginning of the clips just to get a, a beauty of this TCR GTI. And the way it sounds on the outside of the car is definitely a lot cool. It's got that DSG blop that I'm so familiar with with working on these cars. Ooh, a little curb pop there. So, the TCR cars are very fun. The front wheel drive race cars are definitely a fun series. I'm trying to get a point where I can see the back wheel kind of pick up under braking, but it seems to be not on any points really on this part of the course maybe there it would have but we're in the wrong view so I want to find that wreck oh there it is so we're gonna find out exactly what happened here because I'm very unsure of what happened why I wrecked bounce the curb oh yeah there it was so we're gonna slow that down a little bit. We kind of just uh, we kind of just got a little uh, a little airborne off of that c off there. Yep, clear airborne, bottomed out to suspension, and the car just unsettled, and we kind of just went sailing into the wall there was no saving that at all that's a very very hard hit that was definitely a hard hit and uh you can see my driver's head bobbing we are live in the car so i think that'll do it here for this episode here on a set of course on the oculus rift s hope you guys enjoyed this content if you guys want to keep seeing more Make sure you follow me on all social media. I do appreciate all the support. And as always, I like thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Look at that dust.